Hello there, party people. It's Carlos Bender here again. I've got a question for you. What do you guys do if you want to go into the midden? You know what? Magical dungeon that's underneath the college in Winterhold, where you can forge Daedric weapons and hearts and spell tomes and fire salts and all kinds of crazy things. Make permanent atronachs and everything. Well, if you don't want to join the college and fiddle with these guys and mess with them and bother with them, you can use a e exploit. First, you need to go to Winterhold. Hey. Be careful. Well, you got in my way, so you started that. Instead of going to that lady and meddling with her and getting all kinds of crazy hijinks from her, you just keep going and jump down into that valley, that icy valley that's down here. You can find some slaughterfish eggs and Nordic barnacles down there too, so that's twice the benefit. We're getting to the mid and end, we're getting ingredients. Ain't that sweet? Whoa! <laughs> I knew that was happening. So basically behind this uh, set of popsicles here is the midden. On the other op on the opposite side, sorry, my mistake, on the opposite side of that. Well, screw me and my grammar and my English. I'll try to show you. Multiple ways to get up on that uh, that ledge that leads to that grotto cave. This is the ledge I'm talking about. You might be able to fiddle around and get over this rock side here, but it's tricky. And might take some time. And you might get frustrated. Before you do that, just walk up here. That spot. Jump on this side. This side is steep enough to let you slide down a bit, but not to fall down. So you can walk on it, just on the edge of it. Hep! Keep on going. Success! Voila! The entrance to the midden. I lied. It's not the entrance to the Midden. It's the exit of the Midden Dark. That second part of the dungeon, the Midden, where you battle some spiders and skeletons and all kinds of crazy st crazy things. I've seen a couple of wraith or ghosts or whatever it is. Sorry for that. I don't know exactly what because I haven't been there too long. Because I want to show you this first. This side, what do you do? You jump on it, keep going forward, walking forward, and keep jumping. You spam your jumping key until you reach the top. If you reach a spot where it doesn't go, like this spot here, it's almost three quarters up, or even more, like six eighths up, you have to sidestep a little bit. You have to go left, right and jump at the same time. You walk forward, left, right, everything at the same time until you you finally you will eventually make it if you're stubborn enough. So let's see. Yep, the text came up. Yep, you'll, you'll make some big leaps every now and then. We are almost up. Oh, that was almost too far of a jump. Almost went right into the midden. But if you want to go into the midden in the first place, 
you won't mind jumping from there into the midden. So that's it. If I would go a couple more steps, I would be in the midden dark. So that's it. You'll find the midden in there. That's I think midden isn't that the eight no, it's the Adronach Forge. The midden is the dungeon and the Adronach Forge is well, the forge. There you can make artifacts and all kinds of crazy stuff. Another way to get up is that platform I was on earlier, instead of going right where I went, go left. If you paid attention, this this here behind that is the way up. Then we would go right and about here I would would have shown you the rock about here or here it is the rock where I said you can jump it if you take time or might be able to jump it screw it you might not be able to follow me after all not saying you don't get it but it's confusing it's handy to have auto walk for this as I said, this is the spot where you go to the platform, the plateau. This is where we first went. This is where I said, you can jump these rocks, but don't take your time, waste your time doing it. When there's one easy and one mediocre way. The mediocre way you might be trying is down here. Pam. Here you will face an invisible wall, right here, that's here, it's uh, right there, about here. Yep, it keeps pushing you, so you have to jump in this direction until you cross the border. Actually, it's this is a wide strip of an invisible wall, you have to jump about here and it, it ends. If you jump about here, you would be able to clip into the side of the mountain and walk over so it's complicated and it's a bit more tricky so you might not want to do it but you can do that that that's the first big leap you want to do That's the second leap. We need another leap and we're done. Yep, that was the spot I was talking about. As soon as you can clip at this spot, as soon as you can clip into the mountain like that, you're out of the uh, invisible border. So, sorry, <laughs> wrong spot. You have to go one further up here. There you go. Okay, you keep sidestepping left and right and jumping. You Or you could stay on this side and hammer your button, but it's effectively the same outcome. You would you will break your button. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do you need proof that you will actually spawn the midden? Alright. On the loading screen, we have entered the midden dark. And this is actually the exit you would enter after you've done that. I'm not going to say too much, but there's a quest you can do, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff you have to do. And you would actually exit this way, or you might be able to re-enter into the main midden and then back into college. There's no nobody will bother and care about you being in the midden. So you can use the uh, Atronach Forge and everything that's there without anybody caring about. And I'm a bit surprised 
of that because you know it's a mighty artifact that's down there and you know nobody cares you're underneath the college what would happen if there is an oblivion gate opening underneath the college they would be able to invade the college rambling again I'm gonna open an oblivion gate on my computer if it keeps crashing like that yeah the game I mean so Oh, uh, you guys all have a good one, and I catch you guys later or something. Bye.